Hi guys, welcome back to Classic Album Reviews. Now today I will be reviewing an album from perhaps my favorite hip hop artist, Kanye West. This is his classic 2004 debut album, The College Dropout. Now everyone knows who Kanye West is, rapper, producer from Chicago. You know, a lot of stuff has been said about him o over the years, you know, about the whole Taylor Swift thing and about how, and about how uh, cocky and, and arrogant he is, you know, and, and about how he's a jerk. And, and yeah, I think he's a, and yes, I think that he can be a jerk, you know, but I, I still think that he is an incredible artist, one of one of the best artists of this generation and and one of my top five favorite artists but you know but that's just my opinion you know I, I think I still think he is a great artist regardless of all the controversy he has caused over the years but 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 let's get into this review this is his 2004 debut album, The College Dropout. Now, a little backstory on this album. This, this the making of this album goes all the way back to back to 1999. Kanye West was was making be Kanye West was making beats for other local artists, and then and then he formed a relationship with. With the guy named Hip Hop, who was an A and R at at Rockefeller Records, and uh, Kanye made the beat for for a Beanie Siegel's uh, the Truth album. He he did the the title track The Truth, and after that he uh, Kanye started making beats for other artists on the label including Jay-Z. The very first beat that he made for Jay-Z was This Can't Be Life off of his uh, 2000 album The The Dynasty. And then in 2001, he produced Jay-Z's The Blueprint album, which became one of Jay-Z's best albums and one of the best uh, hip-hop albums of all time. Uh, Kanye did, uh, Kanye produced uh, five beats <laughs> for that album. He he did Heart of the City, uh, Takeover, Never Change, Girls, Girls, Girls Part Two, and H to the Izzo, which became uh, Kanye's first like big hit as a producer, which gave him more more uh, which gave him more recognition from other people wanting wanting him to wanting him to produce their albums and uh, and uh, while he was uh, while he was making beats for other artists Kanye had always intended on on he had always intended on on being a rapper and so uh, while he was making beats he had started uh, he had started formulating his his own album and uh, he'd go around to to um to uh, other labels and and he started playing playing his songs you know but they turned him down you know because you know, because uh, they didn't think that he was much of a rapper but they still thought that he was a great producer and then and then uh, finally in in about 2002 Dame Dash signed him to to a uh, Rockefeller Records. And then in and then in uh, December of that year, Kanye was in a car crash, which broke his jaw in uh, three places, which resulted in his first single, "Through the Wire," which he rapped through the wire. His 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 jaw was was still wired shut, and uh, he he did that song uh, he did that song about uh, two weeks after the accident. Uh, the song was released in um, early 2003, and then after that single was released, he got to work on his album. The next single from that album released in in late 2003 was Slow Jams, was, which featured Jamie Foxx and fellow Chi-Town rapper Twista. 
and and so he he started making the album and and uh, there there were a few leaks for the album in like late 2003 and and the and the, because of that the the date for the 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 date for for the for the 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 release date for the album got it it got uh it got pushed back a few uh, months or so and finally in finally in uh, February of uh, 2004 it was released and uh, uh, this is a really great album, one of my favorite Kanye West albums, and and one of my favorite albums. Period. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The 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 uh, tracks on the album, it, the 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 first track is the is the uh, intro. You know where where the where the teacher of the school asks uh, Kanye to to come up and do a song for the kids, and then that goes straight into the actual first track, which is "We Don't Care," and then uh, which which Kanye talks about like the urban condition, you know, uh, about like a uh, drug dealing and stuff. It's 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 kind of like uh, it's kind of like. Uh, he sat around me, all, all that, and then, and then that goes into the third track, a graduation day, where where the teacher is is uh, telling him off, you know, because he sang that song. He he said that he wanted him to do something for the kids, and then the next track, All Fall Falls Down, which was, which was the third single from the album, which, in, in which a Kanye talks about like. He he talks about um, materialism and like how it affects the black culture culture and like how like like uh, they they make uh, them uh, buy you know, about how how black people are uh, di about how black people are uh, di are uh, degraded and how they. Uh, uh, about how uh, people make them buy their things anyway, and then, and then the the next track is a spaceship, which uh, Kanye talks about uh, working this job at at the Gap. Uh, this track also features um Consequence and a uh, GLC, and then the next track Jesus Walks, which is probably my favorite Kanye West song. You know this. You know this talks about how uh, he he's like uh, professing his faith, and and uh, he says like how Jesus walks with all likes of people, and and uh, he also talks about his uh, struggle to get signed, about how how like uh, he he played this this song for 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 the he played the song for the record companies, but they didn't. Like that song be, because it talks about Jesus, you know. He's like, well, well, he 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 he's like, oh, so I can talk about like other stuff about like guns and killing and drugs and, and stuff, you know. But I can't talk about God, you know. And then then the next track, um, the next track is um, never let me down, which features Common and uh, Talib Kweli. Uh, next track. Next track is um, the the new workout plan, which which is a really great song, and then slow jams, uh, featuring Jamie Fox and Twista, and then you have uh, and then uh, you have a breathe in, breathe out, featuring featuring um, Ludacris. The next track is a school spirit. And then, and then uh, you, you, then uh, you, you also have um, a few skits in between those songs, and then, and then there's uh, two words uh, featuring Most Deaf and and um, Freeway. The and then the next track is uh, Through the Wire, is 
his uh, first single, and then there's and then there's um family business, and then the last track is is called the last call, which which he basically tells his story about his journey to being signed to um Rockefeller Records, and uh, and uh, and like uh, at the at the end the the whole outro is just him telling his story from like uh, making beats for other artists until he finally got signed, you know, so yeah, um, overall, this is a really great album, probably my, probably my uh, second favorite album by Kanye West next to Dark Fantasy, really great, incredible album, you know, this album completely changed the game of, 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 of um, hip hop back in 2004, you know, because at that time, uh, rap was still gangster rapper dominated. You know, you had guys like, you, you had guys like um, 50 Cent. You know, uh, all, all like, they 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 had this like macho image. You know, bare chest, a uh, gun, toting and stuff. And then there's, uh, you know, and then here's Kanye wearing wearing the pink polos and backpacks. You know. You know, he 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 had a teddy bear on on his album. You know, no one else was was doing that. Who, well, what what other rapper would have a teddy bear on their album? You know, only Kanye. You know, so Kanye kind of broke the mold. You know that you know that that artist had to be a gangster or like come from or, or they had to come from a poverty to be a successful rapper. You know, Kanye was just this regular guy who came from the suburbs, you, you know, talking about real stuff that people could relate to, you know, stuff like stuff like family and school, dropping out of school, you know, girls and, and stuff, and uh, religion, racism, you know, stuff that people could relate to, you know, it, it was kind of like, a breath of fresh air when he came out, you know, it was a break from all that gangster stuff at the time, you know, this, this was a really groundbreaking album, and, and the, and the production for this album was pretty groundbreaking too, you know, because it featured that, that Chipmunk Stole, so, so that Chipmunk Soul style production that he had always used in his, in his early days, you know, yeah, the 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 uh, Chipmunk Soul sound was actually started by um, RZA of the Wu Tang Clan, you know. But um, but uh, it was it was later uh, perfected by uh, Kanye and uh, Just Blaze, and uh, they they kind of made it their own, you know. And uh, uh, this this album, this album, um, this album, uh, it it uh, really uh, utilizes the. The Chipmunk Soul sample well, and uh, yeah, this is this is just um, a really great album. It's one of the uh, best hip hop albums of all time and of that era, and and one of my favorite albums ever too. One of and one of Kanye's best. Yeah, so um and um so uh, if you're a hip hop fan, you should definitely have this album in your collection. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, so, uh, guys, um, uh, uh please, uh, please leave, uh, comments, you, you know, uh, uh, please give me some, uh, feedback, and, uh, and also, uh, leave in the comment section some, uh, some, uh, other albums that you'd like me to, to do in, in, in the, uh, future, and, uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, uh that is my review, and, uh, take care.